this is tonight's homework. I know a lot of you are out for your field trip, so I'm going to explain as much as I can. A lot of it we did in class. So if you did this, this is like the previous night's homework. So it's over always um, the big triangle over the small triangle, right? A number from or a variable from a big triangle. Um, this should be a triangle symbol over a small triangle, right? So you, if you pick 36, A to C, put 36 over corresponding um, sides on the small triangle, which is a question mark, equals to 24 over 8. Now you can use the question mark or change that question mark to X. I don't care when you multiply this together, you get, um, use your calculator, um, 36 times 8 equals to 288 equals to 24 question times a question mark. So divide by 24, divide by 24, your question mark is um, 12. So this question mark is 12. This question mark is 12 centimeters. Make sure you put the units in there. Okay? A number four, and then I went, well, number four, um, some class I didn't do this, some class I did. You're a pizza delivery person for Pizza Hut. You make $3 each delivery plus your normal salary of $60. Right? And so you got 33 plus 60. Okay? Write an algebraic equation for total amount made. So one of the equation is equal to total amount made. So I'll just put A for amount made. A equals to dollar amount made. It's amount made in dollars, okay? Normally, they put this in the back, though. Okay, now, what I told student in class was um, in this problem situation for one day, um, how much do we want the amount made for one day? That should help you decide where to put the times, either A or each, because A is the same thing as each day, A day, per day, all means the same, so it's hard to tell. If you want the total for day, then this doesn't count, so each delivery gets a multiplication times T, because every delivery you make, you make extra money. So D equals to the number of delivery of pizza delivery. Right? Or number of delivery if you want to shorten it. If you make $75, how many delivery must you make? Use the equation from problem A to help you. Okay, so use this equation here. 3D plus 60 equals to amount made. You want to make $175, I mean $75. So you solve that, minus 60, minus 60, most of you know how to do this by now. 3D equals to 15, divide by 3, divide by 3, D equals to 5. Okay? Now, next problem, I'll go over stuff that I didn't cover in certain class, most class we covered this. Already, most class we covered this and this. Um, only one is this one we didn't cover. Okay, so I'll cover in some classes. Most classes, yeah, we covered all those. Um, this one I didn't cover in any class. So what you need to do is first draw the two triangles given f with, with the given information. So all the information needs to be on it. We'll start with the small triangle. Triangle, here's the small one. Okay. That's a small triangle. The small triangle is called triangle B, C, and D. B, C, and D. And we know this is 4. This is 5 centimeters. Okay, now the big triangle. There's two triangles here. Big triangle, cross out all the information for always the middle line, you don't need the middle line, cross that out, 
and now you see one big triangle. You see that? You see a big triangle from A to C and C to E. That's your big triangle. Okay, so let's draw the big triangle right here so you can do that better. Okay, you get C here, A here, C, A, and E here. E. And we know that this length is 10 right here. But we don't know this length. This length, whole length, we don't know. The 4 is only for this little piece right here. Okay, so that's how we got that. Okay, and then the question asks, what is the distance of CE? So we want this distance of CE. We don't know that distance. Let's give that X. Define what X is. X is the distance from C to E. To do that, you need to write um, 10, big triangle, over small triangle, 5, equals to 4, no, X over 4. Big triangle, X over the 4. Multiply diagonally, that's 40 equals to 5x. Divide by 5, x is 8. So CE is 8. Okay? So if this whole distance is 8, right here, the next question is what is the distance of DE? What is this one right here? So you take the answer from... 8, you minus it to 4, you get DE is equal to 4. Okay, this I don't know why it didn't show up on your printout, but it did not. It went to number 9. It says the height is 105 of the building feet. Hmm, I need to put centimeters here. Okay, and and its shadow is the length of BC, so the shadow is all the way from the building. It's all the way over there. Okay. Uh, a lady is 6 feet tall with a shadow of 10 feet. So that's her shadow right here, 10 feet, right? Um, find the length of BC. So we want to find this length. Okay, let's draw the two triangle first. The question says draw the two triangle in this situation. Okay, our little triangle. Most classes we did this, and except one class I did not. I think I did. Okay, that's a, that's six, and that's ten. That's okay. And the big triangle. is this number 105 from this side and we don't know this whole length this length right here that I highlight so we give it X that's 10 though okay let's solve for BC this is B to C B to C that's A B C right mm -hmm. so we got X is equal to B C Okay, we have big to small, big over small, 105 over 10 equals to x over 6. <coughs> no, no. Oh, no, I did it wrong. Oh, it's not over 10. 105, compare that to not 10. I'm looking at the wrong thing. 10 is not even, don't look at that. I need to look at this picture only right here. 105 to the 6 equals to x over 10. Multiply diagonally, you get 150 equals 6x. Divide by 6, you get 11.6 repeating. B is 11.6 repeating. You want to find the length, this is not this answer, sorry. You want to find the length of this 
B, um, E to B right there. This one. Therefore, you take the whole thing, 11.6 repeating minus this 10. one point six repeating okay and then number ten number ten is a forty five foot tree forty five feet tree um, cast a shadow that is sixty two foot long so it shadows right from here to here to end so that's sixty two okay so in they'll Put it like this so you don't get confused from end to end, 62. Um, draw the two triangles in this situation. So the little triangle, if you look at the little guy, the 62 doesn't belong to him. Okay? So we got 6 here. We don't know what his shadow is. His shadow is here. We don't know what that is. We give it X. <coughs> so the big triangle... You look at the big triangles right here, right there. It's 45, and this is 62. Okay? So, how tall is this? six foot person shadow that's this that's x x equals to the shadow which is equal to set it up it's always big over small right 45 over 6 equals to 62 over x so 62 times 6 372 equals 6x divided by 6. Oh, no, no. What am I doing? It's 45. 45 times x. 45. Divide by 45. Oh my gosh. Divide by 45 right here. Eight point two six 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 repeating. The six is repeating. The shadow is eight point two six repeating on the six. Okay. How far away from the tree is a six-foot person who is standing in the shadow of the tree is shown in the diagram? So how far from the tree is this person to the tree? Well, this is 8.26 here. So... How far away from the tree is the six person standing in the shadow? So you take the 62 and you minus it from that. So 62 minus 8.26 and it equals 2. Um, Thirty-seven. I mean, fifty three point seven three repeating. Okay, what type of transformation? Clum, some class I didn't get to do that. This is a, a rotation of one sixty. Noticed this is the pre image. How the shape flipped one hundred eighty degrees. Rotation. Rotation 
of 180 degrees. <coughs> How do we know? Because the shapes flip and it's diagonal or the number stays the same. Okay, this you don't have to write the coordinate, just translate 2 to the left and 3 up. Translate 2 to the left, 3 up. C5. 2 left, 3 up. I mean, two, three, B prime. Okay, and then connect the dots. And this is E. Draw a reflection of the pre-image over y negative 1 here. y negative 1. Okay, here's y negative 1. I did this in a lot of class. Okay, here's y. So I find negative 1 here. You put a you put mirror right on that line here and reflect that over it. This is 2, 4, 5. right there and that's letter E which are double prime and B is just right down there right? and this is 8 yep. 8 so you need to count 8 Right there, that's eight also. All right, and that's D prime. And the other one is right there. It's E prime, C prime. And that's a reflection. Identify the line segments. Okay, congruent line segments. <coughs> They're talking about these two. Okay, these two right here. So DE is congruent to, okay, let me erase this. DE right here, get a black, is congruent to um, XY, or no, just side Y. CD is congruent to X. Okay, you guys finish the rest. Or, okay, I'll finish it. C to B right here. is congruent to um, W. And the last one is B to E is congruent to Z. Okay? Wilcox. Hi.